Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. This is gonna be a very cool tutorial where I will teach you guys how to make a hand-drawn text animation in Adobe After Effects. So let's just jump into it. All right, so I'm in Adobe After Effects and we're gonna start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna go for a 1080p one. You can copy these settings or use settings you want. And drawn animation. All right. And we're gonna start by creating a text layer. So click anywhere on this field and now type in something you like. And you want to align this to the center. So go to the align panel. Where is it? It's over here. If you can't see it, go to window align. Make sure you align it to the composition. Click this icon and now click this icon to center it. Now the problem is if you want to draw on this layer, you can't. For some reason you can't. You cannot double click it to draw on it. So that kind of sucks. So what we have to do is we have to export this frame and then import it again and then we can draw on it. It's kind of stupid, but I don't know. That's the way it works. So go to composition and go to save frame as and click on file and then just save it anywhere on your hard disk. So once you've exported it, locate it on your hard disk and just import it over here. You can right click import file or you can just drag it in here from your finder. Okay, so let's just hide this layer and just import the frame we just exported. And now when you double click it and select the brush tool, you will see you can paint on it. So that's cool. Now, something that's very important is when you go to these paint settings, of course, you have to select a color you like. But what's even more important is this duration setting. You don't want to set that to constant. You want to set that to single frame. So on every frame we draw, the animation or the brush we see will be different. Over here you can select a size you like. Let's try something out. It's already pretty big. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for 17 right now. Should we change the hardness? That might be better, maybe set it to 50. I think that looks a little better actually. Let's just leave it at that. All right, so now what you wanna do is go to the start of your timeline. And now you can start drawing on the font. So I just make a little stroke like this. And now you can hit page down on your keyboard Again, page down on your keyboard to go to the next frame. And as you can see, then the brush is gone because that's we're going to a new frame and we need to draw something new. So it's important to keep in mind what you did the previous frame. So I just leave my cursor at the end, then hit page down and then start drawing again. Hit page down again and just repeat this process. Okay, so now we've made the F. All right, it looks pretty cool. But maybe we just wanna highlight the whole letter. So let's just draw that. And if you want this to be shown on multiple frames, you can just 
drop down this layer, go to effects, paint, and now brush 14 is the one we just made. And you can just drag it out over multiple frames. So then you have this. It's kind of silly, but hey, maybe we should just keep it at two frames. And then draw a new one. Also extend that. Draw a new one again. And now let's see what happens. And you just have to continue doing this. And as you can see, this can take up quite some time, especially if you want to do a whole word, but um, it's definitely going to be worth it. All right, so I'm just going to speed up this process and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Alright, so I just made some crappy drawings. Let's see what we have right now. Okay, so I hope you guys understand that this still needs a lot of work. But because I want to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to do that because these steps will be the same or very similar. And I just want to show you guys the basics of how to do this. But now there's still something we need to do because right now we've created a painting on a text layer. And maybe you don't want to show the text layer. So what you have to do is create a new solid layer. So right click new solid and make sure this has the same size as the text layer. So 1920 by 1080 pixels in this case, hit OK. And now the solid is in your timeline, but it's also over here in this folder. So what you have to do is just delete it from the timeline and now select the PSD file, the text layer, and now select the black solid over here. And now hold the option key on your keyboard and while holding the option button, drag the solid onto this layer and it will replace the Photoshop file with the solid. And as you can see, now we only have the brush stuff on here, which is cool. And now we can also start adding effects to it. So maybe you want to add a nice glow to it. So go to effect, stylize, glow and just blow up the radius by, I don't know, 200 maybe. Yep, that looks pretty cool. Um, it's a bit too crazy. I think this looks nice. Now, I can imagine that you wanna add a video to the background. So let me just import something random real quick. Okay, so over here I have a clip of me walking somewhere at night. Let me just import that. And it's a 4K clip, so I need to scale it to 50%. And now when I move this below the uh, text layer, you will see we get to see nothing of that video clip. So what you have to do is go to this drop down menu click on effects, click on paint, and make sure paint on transparent is checked on. And then you will see the black solid is gone and you will only see the painting we did. And now it looks like this. So as you can see, this is a very short clip, but um, I hope this inspired you guys to create your own stuff. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And if you like this stuff, please like it, please subscribe, please share it with your friends or colleagues. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.